Hi there, you're back here with old Barry, and first of all, a big thanks goes out to the people that have been emailing Leanne and I, wondering if we're okay. No, we're actually fine. It's just I mentioned uh, that uh, I'd be spending more time with the mentors, and uh, since we passed that intersection about this lockdown, I mean, it's been, uh, for us folks here in the DR, it's been since, what, uh, March 19th we've been on lockdown. That's We're getting on six weeks here. You guys in the States... For all you watching us uh, from back in the States, uh, you were on lockdown since, I believe, the 13th of March. So you're even a week longer than us. Uh, the thing is, though, we've made a decision. Well, first of all, thank you for everybody that inquired if, if we're fine, okay? Uh, like I say, I've been enjoying a little... These Coronas, when I'm not recording and not talking with the mentors, but not worrying about the other Corona by any means. Um, as more and more information is coming out, proving beyond a shadow of a doubt that this whole thing was a staged lockdown with different motives, um, I'm going to let you watch this an excellent piece. Uh, it, I think about four or five different subscribers sent it to us over the last, I'd say, about four or five days now. Because, like I say, I've been spending more time with the mentor. So, listen, I want you guys to have a listen on an excellent piece. And if it's uh, just of the uh, more deeper thinkers, it, uh, take note, if it's already on, uh, I believe this was, uh, yeah, ABC. If it's already on ABC, okay, and it's on a mainstream, that should give you some information that that part of their plan. Yeah, Jessica, intact. the doctors say that they have compiled their own data of coronavirus cases here in Kern County and used their research from the cases here to cross-reference them with numbers across the nation and really across the globe. They say that that data shows that healthy people don't need to shelter in place anymore. And of course, that's going against what a lot of health experts have been telling us so far. I What's happening is, too, uh, we just recently posted a uh, excellent study from Stanford University. Now you're seeing surgeons that are coming on that own their own facilities. Uh, these guys are, they actually own four vaccine facilities, okay? They have vaccine facilities, and they're saying what they're about to say. Okay, I'll keep the interruptions to a minimum. I say, do we need to still shelter in place? Our answer is emphatically no. Do we need businesses to be shut down? Emphatically no. Do we need to have, do we need to test them and get them back to work? Yes, we do. Doctors Dan Erickson and Artin Masihi, both co-owners of the five accelerated urgent care facilities in Kern County, say they have tested 5,213 patients within the county for the coronavirus. That makes up for over half of all testing done here. They say their data and research qualifies their statement. Is the flu less dangerous than COVID? Let's look at the death rates. No, it's not. They're similar in prevalence and in death rate. So we are saying that our response now, now that we know the facts, it's time to get back to work. But White House Coronavirus Task Force expert Dr. Anthony Fauci says otherwise, with national research showing COVID-19 cases to be over 10 times as lethal than the flu. But Fauci's decades of experience as an immunologist and physician holds no weight in the eyes of Erickson and Masihi. We're actually seeing the patients. Dr. Fauci hasn't seen a patient for 20 years. White House health officials have reported more than 800,000 COVID-19 cases with just over 46,000 deaths across the nation. But Erickson says that quarantining is a health hazard in and of itself. We understand microbiology, we understand immunology, and we want strong immune systems. I don't want to hide in my home, develop a weak immune system, and then come out and get diseased. Reporting the disease, Erickson claims, is being forced onto healthcare professionals. ER doctors now, my friends that I talk to say, you know, it's interesting, when I'm, when I'm writing up my death report, I'm being pressured to add COVID. Why is that? Why are we being pressured to add COVID? to maybe increase the numbers and make it look a little bit worse than it is? I think so. According to Erickson, there is something much larger at play here. This is not about science, and it's not even about COVID. When they use the word safe, the word safe, if you listen to the word safe, that's about controlling you. So when I talk to all my ER doctors who work in a hospital, no stake in the game, same opinion. Okay, guys, um, 
I don't know. Wow. I don't know what more needs to be said. I do know, and I'm going to be posting up in the very near future, other factual articles about how insurance companies are paying hospitals more uh, if the death certificate does say cause of death, uh, COVID-19. Everybody's jumping in on the programs. Uh, it's absolutely, it's a sad day for humanity. It really is. There, I, I don't know what more could be said about it. It's just a sad day when, when uh, you know, we begin eating each other like that. It's, it's just a sad day. Anyway, Leanne's going to post um, some actual uh, links to these, but I'm going to quickly go through them here. I have the actual download here, but uh, this post is pertaining from Armstrong Economics about how actually since nothing at all came out to the original damages that they thought this, this uh, COVID-19 would be doing, that actually the hospitals are basically empty. And what is happening uh, is uh, they're actually going broke. They're laying off doctors. They're laying off all kinds of staff. Okay, I don't need to walk you through it. You're capable of reading it on your own. In terms of that, also, uh, the Virginia Hospital and Healthcare Association, also after a paragraph and a half of ass kissing to the governor about how great he is, uh, that's why I don't get too much done. I don't tend to do that. Um, telling you about how their hospitals are empty, 21% of their ventilators are being used by both COVID-19 and non-COVID-19, about the tens of thousands of operations that have been put on hold. Uh, there are almost 6,000 open beds in their hospital sitting there, along with over 2,000 unused ventilators just sitting in the cartons, just tons and tons of equipment. Listen, folks, upon closing, uh, Leanne's going to link this, but I want to tell you something. I told you one of the biggest reasons why we did this in the beginning, way before even DR escapes, before something feels wrong when we started to do this, is we mentors understood, and we're going back almost 14 years now, we mentors understood that one day, honest boots on the ground information from just about every part of the world, one day, because we saw the numbers back then, one day was going to be, you couldn't put a price tag on how valuable it is, okay? So understand, folks, we're almost um, more or less 15,000 people boots on the ground. We've been emailing. We've been Skyping. We've been using WhatsApp. We've been talking to firemen, police. We've been talking to emergency. We've been talking to emergency wards at some of the biggest hospitals because some of their staff is subscribers. I'm talking about Europe, Australia, America, Canada, Russia, China, and tons more areas. I'm not saying these are all our best friends. I am saying they're all our subscribers. And when they subscribe, they fill out forms. So when they put their occupations down as to what they're doing and this and that, we categorize them, okay? One day we knew this would be helpful. So Folks, I'm telling you, there's over 400 people we've been, we, there isn't one of them. There isn't one of them with boots on the ground that have noticed anything like what you're seeing on the mainstream media. It's not one. And as a matter of fact, it's the opposite that they're talking about now at the fire halls. You know, when you're like on 48, off 24, on 48, off 24, and you actually live there, or emergency wards at hospitals, the talk is what is going on? I'm going to leave that with you. Uh, thanks again for your inquiries. It's Oberry and DR. We're not leaving this subject, this point of the lockdown, because we'll continue on about economy, what we might do, and nothing matters right now. If there's no velocity of currency, if there's no commerce, if there's no Baltic dry, if sea freight is not moving, nothing's happening. The rest of it doesn't matter. Okay, we'll talk to you soon. And again, thanks a lot for those emails. It's old Barry NDR. Bye.